I'm on my way to the job and the van's just just decided not to go anywhere. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. And thanks for tuning in, as always, I say all the same thing every time. So, I'm not gonna say it again, unless you're new around here, then don't forget to subscribe. Um, what we're doing today, it's really exciting for me, this one, because I'm that much of a uh, nerd. We have got an arc fault detection device to install. And this one is by Verso arc fault detection device. So I'm gonna show you that. What I'm naturally doing is I'm changing the whole consumer unit. It's an old Wilex. I think it was a rewirable one and it's been, someone's just upgraded with a retrofitted MCBs. But we're upgrading that to a, all RCBOs with surge protection. And obviously one of them is gonna be an arc fault detection device. And I'll tell you for why. Um, these Verso ones have not been released as of yet, so I don't know how much they are Before anyone asks, I don't know where you can get where you can't get them from anywhere yet But when you can I'm sure you'll find out uh, what wholesalers are stocking them at the minute There's a few wholesalers already stocking Verso and there's a lot of places online that you can buy it The reason only one of them is going to be an arc fault detection device is because Verso have sent me this for their research and development team to give them some feedback Make sure it fits on the DIN rail nice in a real world situation and not just on test rigs. Make sure the neutral leads are, are the right length. Uh, make sure it functions right and stuff like that. It's already been through all the factory testing and stuff. It's all fine to be used. They just want uh, one installed to get a bit of feedback. Anyway, I'm rambling on. The point is Verso sent me this one and I'm dead excited to fit an arc fault detection device. Before we head over to the job though, I do want to excuse the mess in my van. I've just thrown all my tools in from the from the lockup, which I have to do every morning and every single night, otherwise someone steals them every night. Yeah, I've got a parcel that I got delivered, and that's come from a subscriber of mine, so thank you very much. I'm gonna open it on camera and uh, let's have a look what uh, what what he sent me. And I do appreciate it, you don't have to send me anything, but if you do, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Unless it's something stupid like this is going to be. I know it's going to be something stupid because I know who sent it. Right, hopefully you can see this pretty well. Let me just uh, get to cracking with it. Oh, we've got a little note there. Let's have a read. He sent me a heavy duty broom for outdoor use. <laughs> Is this some kind of electrician joke? He's saying I need a brush. And the, the little note here that I've got says, um, it's time to brush <laughs> 2021 under the carpet from Richard Arblaster. Thank you very much, Richard. I'm gonna have a look at that now. Let's open it up properly. Eh? Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty, seems pretty good this. <laughs> You're a pee taking. Look at that. Let's have a look, what do you think everyone? Let me just turn the camera around. Does that all look all right, that lads? How do you turn it on? I don't, uh, don't really know what you're supposed to do with it because it doesn't fly um, and I'm going to show you the process of me changing the fuse board we have rewired his kitchen as well, it's a long story his kitchen was old wiring it was tripping, tested it, fault, found a fault, still a fault um, found another fault, still a fault found a f connector block buried underneath the screed in the kitchen repaired it, still a fault I said, listen, mate, it's going to be easier for me to just rewire the sockets in the kitchen. It's in, it's in bad condition. And if we do finally get it to stay on, they're still going to be hidden. Uh, bodged work somewhere that we don't know about whether it works or not. 
so let's just rewire the kitchen it'll be quicker so that's the circuit that i'm going to put on the arc fault detection device as well my new kitchen ring main so i'm going to take show you the old consumer unit and just go through the process uh, at different intervals of what i'm doing and then obviously we get to see that beautiful arc fault detection device light up see you over there i've just stopped outside the shop to get myself a drink and now my van won't move won't go anywhere i'm stuck i'm on my way to the job and the van's just just decided not to go anywhere look it's just going nowhere need to start the engine what am i like i've been trying to drive off the engine's not even started all right we'll be able to head over to the job now it won't move oh the handbrake's still on i feel like a right wally come on let's get to this job i'm running late oh the handbrake's still on twice <laughs> can't believe i've just done that twice but yeah if you're thinking about buying a transit complete waste of money don't buy one it just won't move nothing to do with me so this is the job that we're doing changing this consumer unit uh, new circuit for the kitchen sockets and the water bonding's there um so that's the old one wilex one that was rewirable but someone's upgraded them to the MCBs instead. I'm going to use a torch because I'm getting into shadows everywhere. Um, so what I'll do is I'll I'll open this up, show you the inside of this, so you can see what the what the crack is there. Um, mark it all up, take it out. That's not doing anything anymore, so that's coming out. That's the old kitchen circuit that's been damaged, so that's coming out. That didn't have a fuse in, so that's coming out. So all we've got is old shower. Um, what's that outside lights cooker nothing lights for the whole house and then the socket ring main in the house like i say we've got a new kitchen circuit so yeah that's the old fuse box i'm gonna rip all that out now it's all marked up i know what what cables are what right that's where i'm up to at the moment uh, i've just put a new board on there just to take the because the old one weren't quite long enough and I wanted to bring all the cables in. Rear entry. Because they're coming from all different directions, so that's usually the neatest way. They're gonna be tied back down there. Them two on the top are old ones anyway, so they're gonna get cut out once I'm finished. Um, the old kitchen ones are on the floor over there, so they're gonna get cut off afterwards. That's the old kitchen ring that had plenty of faults on it. Gas and water bonding's coming through there, and there seems to be plenty of length on all the cables. Maybe not so much the lighting one, but... So it should be nice and straightforward. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to bring the new tails through the tails gland there. And change that earth block, just to extend the DNO's earth. And yeah, that's main fuse is missing. I've had, I've had Tony from the DNO come and remove that fuse from me, Anna. He's a DNO toe, he's coming, he's coming to sort that out safely. And he's going to come back in about an hour and so put it back in for me because i'm not allowed righty 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 let's see where we're at now i'm in a pretty tight cupboard here so i'm sorry about the the video it's not great like i say these i'm going to cut out once i'm finished um so at the minute i've got my tail my new tails in coming out of the tails gland there obviously i'm going to put them across this board and up um earth new earth thing new earth thing how technical was that um yeah new main protective conductor <laughs> up to the earth bar and then we've got our gas and our water which i'll label up at the end i've stripped all these cables back now um so i'm going to start by i'm going to load my rcbos up and i'm going to put my earths in first in the corresponding orders yeah then my neutrals after that i'll I'll show you anyway, I'll show you. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere, because it's about to get fun. Subscribe. Right, before I start loading up the RCBOs and the, and, uh, and the star of the show, the art fault detection, 
I was just checking, got my tester out so I could just check my customer's ring. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're all good there, so the, the sockets are the ring, so we're all good. That's just so I don't put a 32 amp in and then I've got to swap it around and mess about, so yeah. We've got a ring and we can uh, start loading the RCBOs in now. Right, like I said I was going to, I've got the RCBOs in, neutrals are in. I always stick a little blue cable tie around them because I just think the little swoop looks like nice and neat. Same for the earths, they're all in and the cable tied together as they go up the back just in a, with a green cable tie because you know what I'm like. Um, first thing about the AFDD, because obviously that's the main style of the show, the switch is slightly higher up than the rest of them, that's quite annoying. It'd be nice if it was in line with the RCBOs. Um, it's a slightly different colour, but I assume that's just because it's like a prototype and it's going to be made in that material after at a later date. But yeah, if that switch is staying there, that's quite annoying. It's not the end of the world, but if you've got OCD, it could be the end of your world. Um, and it's it's ever so slightly deeper than them. I assume that's just to, to make up for housing whatever fancy mechanisms it's got inside it. But all I need to do now is connect up these and get DNOTO to do the tails, change that earth block for a new one, and go from there. So yeah, 32 amp, 32, 32. That's the kitchen ring, the house ring, the cooker circuit, 20 for this 10 mil here because it was an old shower but it's now being used in a spur for underfloor heating so I'll just stick it on a 20. And then we've got lights and the outside light which is just at the back door on its own. And then we've got the surge protection over there. So that's not going too bad, I'm quite happy with this one at the minute. Um, try and get them in nice and tidy and hopefully it'll be a lovely little job. Can't wait to see what colour this light is. Place your bets now. Righty, righty, that's it all powered up. There's this main man. Let me turn this light off so you can see it's a fancy red light. Look at that beauty. When you turn it on, it's... Well, it did flash for about 10 seconds and then stopped. No, maybe it doesn't need to. And there's the finished product. Well, not finished, I need to put some labels on there. Label the gas and water bonding up. Fire seal the back. Um, although, not really the neatest in the world, but I'm, I'm happy with that. Replace the tails. Well, DNO Tony did it for me. Um, he came round, took the fuse out, sorted me right out. Buzz bar, lovely little buzz bar there, the best type I personally think. No, not just a cover over the front there, you fully can't get your hands anywhere, even they've got end caps on. Um, yeah, nice job. I'm happy with that. So that's that sorted, finished, all labelled up, lidded up. Surge, uh, not surge protection, arc fault detection, done. Completed it, mate. Red light on it. Looks quite nice, apart from the switch being a little bit higher than the rest of them. So, there is... Let me just check my microphone's on. Yes, it is. So, there is another video. Another fuse board swapped for a Verso one. And before anyone asks or assumes so, First, I don't pay me to say how good and how much I like their consumer units. I just like them because they're solid and they're cheap enough. They're not really expensive and they're a, the quality is definitely there with them. I appreciate them sending me that uh, arc fault detection device though because I uh, quite enjoyed fitting one of those. And it's the first Verso one in the open world out there being used by a customer that also got it for free. I hope you enjoyed it and... Jordan, if you've watched this video at all, sorry, couldn't help myself. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think. Peace!